Amanda. Hey hey, it's Katie here and it is Monday morning. So it is Autumn Moon Festival today and I have the day off. So we are gonna go and walk towards the ancient culture street which is like a tourist area in Tianjin. And then we're gonna just pop down to the bakery in the supermarket nearby and just get some bits and bobs for lunch. And then yeah, this is Monday. So if you haven't met before by the way, me and my husband are a British couple. We live in a place called Tianjin which is just outside of Beijing in China. And this is my second weekly vlog. So I did a weekly vlog last week and I think it went okay, kind of. And uh, yeah, so weekly vlog, week two. Let's go. So something quite random about China is they have this like renter bike kind of scheme but it's kind of similar to like Boris bikes that we have in London um, but in like England when you have when you rent like bikes out in the city you put them back in certain locations here you can just put them anywhere which does kind of mean you get quite a bit of a congregation of bikes dotted around like the main tourist areas so that's quite interesting. So today we are just going for a little wander and we realise there's like a shopping mall next door to the shopping mall that is next to our apartment that we've never been in and I kind of think for good reason there's like a row of shops and there isn't a Hagen Dyer's here so that's kind of all that we've seen so far that's somewhat interesting but there's lots of kind of shops but you do get a really cool view of the street from here just behind us. Um, so we're gonna have a wander because there's meant to be a good restaurant up here but we're not entirely sure. So we're gonna have a little look around and if not, we're just gonna go back to Lotte which is the supermarket next to our apartment. We are in 7-Eleven and we're looking for some food for our lunches tomorrow. We have got some salad and they have kind of these Chinese food here. And we really like these, these are like rice balls that we have for breakfast, they're pretty good. So we have picked up some 7-Eleven bits and bobs for tomorrow and we're going to head to the bakery. I'm hoping, I just thought, they have this like baguette that's like garlic baguette. I'm hoping they have that because it tastes so good. So we are back in the apartment and we have got a few bits and bobs from the shop. I enjoyed our walk out today, it wasn't actually too busy. Like normally when it's a, a, like a national holiday, it's quite busy, but it wasn't too bad today. Anyway, so we went to bake at the bakery. Our bakery is called Tours La Jouze. I don't, know, I don't actually know how to say it, it's in French, but that's how I pronounce it. Um, we bought like a garlic baguette thing and they like slice it up for you. So we'll have that. We're gonna have some pasta for dinner. Again, just cause I just really enjoy pasta. So I'll have it with that and then I've got some normal, a normal loaf of bread so that I can have some toast in the morning for work. And then we went to 7-Eleven and we bought some like flavoured water. They have like a peach one that Callum likes, this one, and then I have a lemon one that I like. So we'll have that with some lunch. Um, put them. And we also picked up some cherry cola because it tastes like Dr Pepper. Can you tell that we were a little bit addicted to Dr Pepper? But, um, so we like that, so we're gonna have that. And then Callum picked up oh, this lunch uh, that he's gonna have for his lunch tomorrow um, when I'm back at school. So that's kind of our little mini shopping haul. Um, we also picked up a Subway each because we, were, we wanted some lunch and we were originally gonna have the camembert, but to be honest, it's like getting on. We went for a walk with about an hour and a half, so it's now like lunchtime and we were hungry and we were like, you know what, we'll save it for sometime during the week. So, Subway it is. So, it is a little bit later on on Monday and I've had a productive afternoon, but I wish I'd done more, but I'm still working. <laughs> it's like half past five. And to be honest, me and Callum, so we have a, a, a travel blog and I think it's really interesting with blogging because I really enjoy writing and I really enjoy sharing our travels. But I do think with travel blogging and like any kind of social media kind of thing is that it's really easy to get bogged down with like numbers. So I don't know, I felt like the last kind of few weeks I've just been like so obsessed and worried about 
whether our blog is getting enough page views and whether it's getting enough sessions and completely ignored the fact that we are making more money on our Amazon affiliate, we are getting more sponsored posts and like I think it's really easy to forget that type of stuff when you're just worried about the numbers. So I kind of took a week off from writing which was great and it was really helpful but it did mean that this weekend and today I've had to do loads of writing to catch up. So like literally I wrote a post this morning that was a sponsor post and literally as I had sent the live link to um, the client, another person has emailed and they need that up as well. So <laughs> I will be doing that this evening. But first of all, we ordered some bits and bobs from Walmart. So we went to BLT last Thursday and got some sauces and stuff. But kind of on the weekend, we generally tend to do our ordering from Walmart and uh, this is from Walmart and a place called Leon because Leon have good bacon. Um, but sometimes we do like carry four stuff as well. So we kind of buy bits and bobs as and when we need to. So I thought I'd show you a quick shopping haul. So this is our shopping haul for this week. I will have to talk you through what we've got. Well, first of all, these are gigantic spring onions. I'm gonna be honest, I ordered garlic. This arrived, I'm not sure why. I think maybe because they didn't have any garlic. I don't know, but yeah, I got that. Um, these were on offer and I wanted to try them. So Callum has started enjoying coffee like he never used to drink coffee but I've made him start enjoying it because it's just my constant love of going to Starbucks. So I bought two French vanilla lattes. These were on offer for 13 RMB and then this one is a cafe latte one um, which I thought would be nice to try. So I've got that one as well. Um, we've got some full fat coat just for on the weekends. We kind of enjoy having that with a meal on the weekends. I haven't tried this before. We have like, you can get this um, like lemon and flavored uh, water here. And this looked interesting. It was only six R&B for six. So it was really cheap. So we thought we'd try that. Bought some more cheese. We use like um, grated cheese for pizza and pasta and things like that. So and I think we're gonna have some of that, that type of stuff this week. So that comes in helpful. Bacon, so this is from Leon. So Leon is a separate supermarket. So in China, you can order from different supermarkets on your phone and it gets here in like half an hour, an hour-ish. Um, so it isn't the same as English bacon. It's like my mother-in-law would not be impressed with this type of bacon, but this is the best you can get here. So this is kind of, this cost me 17 RMB and I bought this one and three other packets which go in the freezer um, just for when we want them. Chicken, again, <laughs> uh, my mother-in-law would not be impressed, is you, when you buy chicken here, you buy it just like by the breast. When you go to the shop, it's literally just out. So that's why it's just in a plastic bag that's frozen. So I bought, I've got eight breasts so we kind of, they're wrapped up in twos and I just put them in the freezer ready for when we use them. We're gonna have like butter chicken tomorrow. So that'd be handy for that. And because of the butter chicken, we need butter. So butter here actually can be quite expensive. This was 26 RMB um, for just a, a regular size butter. And then I bought some pasta because we just love pasta. I'm not sure if I've mentioned that several million times already, but we love pasta. Uh, mushrooms. Mushrooms are actually quite tricky to find um, in China. Like it depends on the season. So I bought some mushrooms. I thought these would be quite nice for curries and things. Uh, Cabri Sun. White grape Cabri Sun. This is just like a little treat because they don't often have this on the app. So whenever we see it, we order one each just because we love it. Um, Perrier lemon water. Callum likes the lime and the lemon one. So we stock up on some of those because I'm really not a sparkling water person, but he is, so he enjoys that. Uh, oh, I found some apple juice. I haven't seen this before. So here in China, they have like apple juice, but it doesn't taste the same as English apple juice. But this is an Asda brand because it's on, from Walmart. So I'm hoping that it tastes pretty good. And last but not least, Velveeta's. So I love these in the UK. I have these just like grab them for breakfast and you can get them from Metro and they're like 27, 28 RMB for a little packet like this. But I'm guessing because there's Chinese writing on it, I'm guessing they've started making them in China. So these only cost a six RMB for a packet. Um, so I'm, I've got two. So I'm excited to have those for breakfast more often. And that's kind of our kind of shopping 
haul. There's not loads, like I said, we generally tend to get like sauces, we stock up on sauces and um, like, uh, like, you know, mixes and stuff like that uh, from BLT or Metro. So this is kind of like the basics. We picked up some vegetables on the weekend. We have a fruit and veg market near us. So we just pick up some vegetables there in the morning sometimes. So there's not too much going on. And then this all came to, because we've, we've bought a few extra bits, kind of like multiple things of chicken and bacon. So I think it came to about 280 RMB, which is pretty cheap compared to what we used to spend in the UK. Right, haul is done, shopping is away. It is in record time, only 15 minutes later from when I last stood here talking to the camera. So I'm gonna sit down with the kind of camera setup that we have going here, um, and I'm gonna talk about some of the trips that we've been on, um, and Disney, because you know, gotta love Disney. Um, so yes, that's what I'm gonna do now. And I'm hoping it doesn't take too long because it's now kind of six o'clock, it's nearly six o'clock. And at this rate, I'm not gonna have time to play GTA. First world problems, I know. Hey hey, this is Katie, and today I thought I would show you some of my Shanghai Disneyland Resort shopping haul. for this channel and I'm gonna make some dinner because it's now like nearly seven o'clock at night and I'm hungry so it's gonna be pasta this evening I was gonna be adventurous to make butter chicken but that's gonna be for tomorrow because I'll be honest I've got to take the chicken out so pasta again it is tonight um, I have I've actually just turned the light around because it's really dark in our kitchen like I don't realize how dark it is but I quite like this light maybe I need to take this like camera lighting around with me all the time. Anyway, I'm gonna start making pasta, so I will see you in a little while. blog post to do this evening because a sponsor blog post has come in so I need to get that done and then we're going to just relax for the evening. I'm hoping I have time to play GTA because you know important stuff in life. Anyway that's the end of Monday. No do you know what it's not because we have mooncake. I can't believe I forgot about mooncake. So we have mooncake. One of my children bought me mooncake so after dinner we will try mooncake and I will tell you what it's like then. So I will see you in a little while. Good morning, it is Tuesday morning and I am heading into work now. It is seven o'clock in the morning and I'm feeling tired today. I must say, <coughs> it's the first day back at school, so that is probably why after a long weekend. But I only have four days and then on Friday we break up for Golden Week, woohoo! So that's like where we have like a, a week off, uh, it's a national holiday, so we're not going away, we're just gonna stay and go for some nice dinners and relax and do some projects and stuff like that, so that should be nice. Um, Gold Week in China is super busy as well, so that's part of the reason why we're not going away. Um, but yeah, 7 a.m., heading into work. What do we think of our lipsticks now? I can't decide. So one of my students, when I first started this year, his mum makes like, um, like uh, lipstick and um, like bath products and she gave me this little like set of bits and bobs and inside was a lipstick and this was the, the shade and I think it looks a bit more orange in real life it looks quite nice on this camera actually I can't decide, I can't decide yeah. anyway, more important things, heading into work right so I'm at school and I'm just going to set up my classroom ready for the day it is a Tuesday so it's a pretty fun day today I quite like, Tuesdays and Wednesdays are my good days 
So today I've got double science this morning and then we have Mandarin, so that's a free period. And then we have maths um, and they are doing their end of unit assessment things. And then we have library time, so a pretty chilled out day. And then I have, we have prep time, but I do an ASA with the senior school. And then I have my own ASA, for me, which is musical theatre, which is always pretty fun. So that's my day this morning. Um, I just remembered that I need to finish off the script, so we're doing, for my ASA, we're doing like a musical, we're making a musical about Waldol, um, so I need to finish that script. Uh, so that's my job this morning, and then but my Wednesdays are pretty good, I have more free periods than I have actual lessons. Yes! Um, so I'm looking forward to tomorrow. <laughs> but, so today I have double science to begin with, and I need to get my room ready because we haven't, I haven't done it all weekend. So I just need to get stuff ready. Fun times, let Tuesday begin. So it is now break time. I have got a pile of marking to do. And I have got half of my class coming back at break to finish off their homework, which they didn't do in time. The fun life of a teacher, hey? Good morning, it is Wednesday. It is nearly seven o'clock in the morning. I'm up bright and early today, and I'm heading into work. So I am in work now. I have got some marking to do, and I need to set up my room for the day. Um, one thing I will say, so it was Moon Festival on Monday and today we have like the Autumn Moon Festival celebration day here. I don't have any Chinese clothes, like you can get Chinese outfits from like Taobao but to be honest they cater for Asian sizes and I am clearly not Asian sizes. So I've just gone for the dress that I feel most looks Chinese. <laughs> Um, and I have this cool bracelet. I want to show you my bracelet because I bought this in Beijing in 2013 when we travelled Asia. How cute is that? So that's what I'm wearing today for my Chinese celebration day. Um, but yes, I'm going to get on with some work now. like that it is the end of the day and I am super tired so weirdly like I always find this on Wednesdays I have two free periods like I have two lessons and three free periods and I always feel more tired on these days I don't know why I think maybe state teaching keeps me awake I don't know <laughs> but uh it's been a, a busy day but it is nearly it's just come up to five and we had our staff meeting that finished a bit earlier so that was quite nice oh bright um so yeah our staff meeting finished a bit earlier so that was nice um so we're heading home now and i've got so much to do this afternoon so me and callum need to be looking at um so like we're looking at our youtube a bit and going to update some of our old descriptions for our creative travel guide i've got a blog post that needs to go up i um, have my mum sent me through something that I need to have a look at as well and yeah so a busy after like a busy evening planned and I've got to take out the chicken and Hannah I've got to take out the chicken and we didn't realize until about five minutes ago so we won't be having chicken curry this evening I think we will probably just have a takeaway So it is now Thursday and I'm heading home from work. I'll be honest, I didn't touch the camera all day just because I ended up having a bit of a manic day. So heading home from work now 
and it's a little bit earlier today because I don't have any meetings or anything after school so it's about quarter to five so that's quite nice I'm gonna head into Lotte which is the supermarket near our apartment um, and get some bits and bobs for dinner tomorrow is Friday so that's nice I'm looking forward to Friday I can never seem to find any normal bread here but these look interesting hmm. So I am back home and I'm already in my pyjamas because I am so tired. But I went to 7-Eleven and picked up some food and bits and bobs and I thought I'd quickly show you. So I picked up two of these pasta dishes. Me and Callum like to have one of these. Like they're really tasty actually. We put a bit of cheese on them and they taste really good. And it was 12.9 RMB. So roughly like £1.30, £1.40 approx. But we like this. We picked up some salads as well. So they have these good salads. These are only 6.8 RMB and they taste really good. We have Caesar dressing in our fridge. So we just use that and have a bit of this. So we'll have like one of these each and one of these each for dinner. And I picked up some of this for my lunch tomorrow. I thought that'd be quite nice to try. I haven't had this before. I'm not entirely sure what it is, but it looks interesting. So I thought I'd have that. And then I picked up one of these for Callum's lunch. It has spicy stuff in it, so it's definitely for him. Um, so that looks interesting. And we I picked up, me and Callum have like fallen in love with these things. They taste really good. They're like um, rice ball things. They taste really nice and you get like different flavored ones. So I picked up one of those each for us. We have some for breakfast. It's quite difficult to always find like stuff that you like here for breakfast. And cherry coke. We can't, like, often can't find cherry coke in most places, but they always have it in the 7-Eleven downstairs, so we always get a bottle of that, because it's good. And that is our kind of, like, mini shopping haul, and that cost me about 83 RMB, I think it was, altogether. Something around that. And, uh, yeah, so it was not too bad. Looking forward to trying some of that. Good morning, it is Saturday, and it is about 10 o'clock, and we're heading to Metro for some shopping it is the start of golden week so we have a week off now so that should be nice it should be a nice kind of week to relax so this weekend we're just gonna chill out do a bit of shopping play a bit of playstation and relax really so metro shopping it is so if you like your teas metro is the place to come you can get like your standard old grey English breakfast tea. Um, it is quite a bit more expensive, so like English breakfast tea is 85, just like a little pack of this. I don't know how many is in this though, to be fair. Mm, I don't really drink teas, but 25 bags are 39 RMB. Mayonnaise, anyone? You can get mayonnaise by the, by the bag. And salad dressing, it's a bag of salad dressing. So our shopping is done. We are waiting for our Diddy who is exactly two minutes away. Um, and yeah, so it wasn't, it wasn't too bad. We were only like an hour in the shop to be fair. We weren't too long. We do seem to get distracted by looking at like, they always seem to have new products in there that we recognize and we always get excited. So today we bought, picked up some pita breads because we haven't seen those before in there. So we picked up some of them um, and they had some, like new kind of, but like their fruit looks a lot fresher today, so we picked up some of that as well. So we have had two items that were delivered today. They are the same things, but just different colors. And these are humidifiers. So we find that the apartment can get really dry sometimes. So I've got a pink one, and Callum has got the same design, but like a black and blue one. Good afternoon, it is Sunday, and yes, it is the afternoon. We had a nice lay-in this morning because we watched the football until like, what time was it? Half two last night? So we went to bed about half two, three o'clock last night. And so we had a nice lay in today. We had some kind of like cantaloupe for brunch um, because we bought some yesterday in Metro and it tasted pretty good. And we're now just gonna kind of spend the afternoon catching up on bits and bobs of stuff that we wanna get done. So this week coming is Golden Week, which is like a week off here in China. It's time that I don't have to go to school. So we're gonna use the time to catch up on some projects that we wanted to start or finish um, for our channel or for our, our blog, Creative Travel Guide, and just do bits and bobs like that. So there's quite a lot of stuff we have planned for this week. And so today, we just wanna finish off stuff that 
um, like a little job. So things like just putting up, I've got one more post that I need to put up today. Um, we need to, I want to do a tidy up of the place because we've let it get a bit messy over the last few days. So I want to do a bit of a tidy up so it's nice and clean for the start of the week. Um, I need to order some water, some bottles of water because we are out of water bottles. And yes, yeah, so just kind of bits and bobs like that really. It's kind of a productive but not too strenuous day, I think. A nice kind of relaxing Sunday. Anyway, so I'll see you in a little while. So guess what just arrived at the door? Lasagna sheets! So I have been, I love lasagna. I just love all food, Italian, like Italian food to be fair. But I didn't know you could get lasagna sheets here. We couldn't find them in any shops. But one of my, um, like my teaching assistant from school was telling me about making lasagna and I bought some from Taobao. And I've got two boxes, they're like 500 grams. So they're like massive boxes so we can have lots of lasagna. I'm super excited for this moment right now. So it's a Sunday and to be honest we've just spent the afternoon and evening. I've been editing some vlogs and Callum has been playing the new FIFA because the game came out so he's been enjoying that. Um, we did a tidy up as well so that's been really helpful. Um, and yes that is kind of the end of this weekly vlog. We're going to make some fajitas and relax and get some good night's sleep I think. So that is Sunday and that is week the end of weekly vlog two. So I hope you like this video. If you do, make sure you give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe. And until next time, bye.